What's up guys? Welcome back to the ranch. All right, it's Memorial Day weekend and I'm standing in my food plot, looking at my rye, thinking about going into that next phase of this no-till broadcast plot here where I'm gonna crush the rye and take it over the seed and let this be my summer stand. Um, things to consider, is it gonna rain? There is no rain in the forecast for the next 10 days. So yeah, it's Memorial Day weekend. I could probably crimp down this rye and seed into it, but 10 days of the seed just sitting on the ground doesn't sound like a good plan for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait till I cycle back up here and watch the weather. You wanna catch a little bit of rain when you do this no-till thing. It helps push the seed in the ground, helps start that germination process. We've already started the summer off with a little bit of drought, so I'm pumping the brakes on that. I even wanted to show you a little bit of where my rye is at. So this is a more of a mature of the rye that I have here. And you can see we're just starting to get that seed head forming on it. Just starting. So I have plenty of time. Most of this doesn't even have the seed head on it yet. So I could afford to wait a little bit longer and that's what I'm going to do. So that's basically what I'm here to say in this video is there's a lot that goes into this no-till. A lot that goes into this broadcast seeding. You're not drilling this in the ground and keeping it safe in the dirt. When you no-till over like this, you got to think of factors like the birds, like the weather drying out and killing that seed. That's what the cover crop does. But the cover crop's doing fine. It's not too late. I got time, so I'm going to wait. Be patient when you do this. Don't rush into it. Another thing to factor in also is don't be too early. So yeah, it's Memorial Day weekend. I could have probably got some summer crops in if I wanted to, but say you wanted to do this a week or two ago. Yeah, it's May, summer is here, right? Maybe not. We had frost. So if you did buckwheat and it germinated, that frost would have killed it. In fact, my apple trees made flowers and looked great. But now that frost in the May 20th, 20th range somewhere, hurt most of those flowers, which now makes me think I'm not going to get the apple crop I was starting to look and expect to get with the beautiful bloom I got on my apple orchard. All right, guys, something simple to consider when doing summer plots or summer rotating into your summer plant plans. Don't rush. You have some time.